Anyway, I brought up this setting up Appium in WebDriver IO, and um, that is a blog post that I've been wanting to read for about four or five months. And um, basically, I'm just going to not read it, but just go through um, kind of the everything here and see if I can get everything running. So I do have Xcode already. Let's see Xcode, and I'm just going to see if I can get a um, I can get WebDriver IO running with Appium. And I figured Xcode would need to install some additional stuff, so um, that's why I opened it up so it can run in the background while I do that. Anyway, um, we I already have Android Studio. It looks like um, for all of this that they are going to be testing in both uh, Android and iOS. I may just test in iOS. Um, I don't know. I already have Homebrew installed, a lot of this stuff. I do need to install Appium. I don't know what Appium Doctor does. Figure out dependencies. I've never heard of uh, Carthage. So, yeah, that sounds interesting. Brew install Carthage. So, let's see. This is very much going to be by the seat of my pants, is what they call it, right? By the seat of your pants kind of development. And at least for today, I was really hoping to get a chance to um, take a look at all, take a look at this blog post before the fact, but I wasn't able to. Anyway, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and copy over my stable directory to a new one called Appium. That way, in case I mess Appium up, which is very likely, um, or I mess the repo up. I'm not messing up the stable one in case I want to jump back into that. But I think the first thing is I, I got to do is install Appium and Appium Doctor. I kind of want to see what Appium would do. Um, or sorry, not what Appium would do, do. I want to see why we need to install it globally because that seems kind of interesting. Um, so that's the Android simulators, uh, iOS, that's fine. And the configuration path, or the, the WebDriver IO configuration, that port looks different. Um, it looks like that's probably the Appium port. That's probably what's going on is why you need to have Appium installed is um, it's going to act like your Selenium server. So let's jump into that directory now that that's installed. I'm going to install this Carthage and see if that talks about anything. Okay. Um, I guess it's just a dependency needed by Appium to run. So this is going to take a, a few minutes. So while that runs, I'm going to take some more, uh, a deeper look into that. I'm going to post this to the channel chat room. Um, and I don't think I have any viewers today, and that's fine. It's, it's a short day, and um, so I'm only going to be here another 10 minutes, so I don't want to bring people in just to say goodbye to them. But I should have this up on YouTube, so you're probably watching on YouTube if you're watching this. So welcome. If you are watching on YouTube, send uh, comments on there. Um, I'm probably going to have to move this from 5 p.m. Central to like 4.45 Central. Um, I have uh, a hard stop at 5.15 that I've got to end the stream at. Uh, I may move it up earlier to 4.30, then I don't know. It's tough after a day of work to jump back on this. But these are... Um, these are the configs that she has. And let's see. They're using the Selenium standalone server, which uh, I don't know if that's, if they can't just use, if you can't just use Selenium standalone as a service. Um, I'd hope that you could. And then that's the test. Okay, so uh, pretty basic intro which is good this is still waiting to update okay there we go while that's going let's see i'm going to open up um my configuration file there we go and what were some of the things that they had Okay, so that's installed. 
Sorry, I want to make sure that I'm running the installation steps while um, everything, while I, while I do stuff in the background. So where was the rest of that? XC Bruin. Wow, I never heard of that. Whoop here. Appium and Appium Doctor. So that will need to be installed. And I can just install those together like that. So let that run while I look through this configuration file. Um, let's see. So there's my specs. I'm probably going to change whatever spec that is. Under capabilities, let's see what they have for capabilities because that's kind of interesting. So they're actually testing in Safari and they have orientation and all sorts of stuff in there. So I am just going to copy that over. Neat, so I'm probably gonna have to start that simulator. Um, what else? Screenshot base URL. Services is the next thing that I need to set up. So all that stuff is basic. And here we have services. I'm going to leave Selenium standalone in there so I don't have to set that up myself. But I'm going to add the Appium service. And I'm guessing I need to install WDIO Appium service. Let's see, that's still installing, so I gotta wait for that to finish installing. And then here are all of a bunch of different configurations. So I'm just gonna copy what she has in there. I already have my framework and reporters and all that stuff set up. Okay, that's good to go. Uh, I want to add my Appium configuration right here, get rid of that extra comma. Uh, I'll test look. So this is saying where is that Appium server at? And what's it running? Cool. That looks pretty good. There's my Mocha Framework .reporter. Uh They had Im updated their timeout. I think I'll go ahead and do that as well because I'm guessing it's going to take a little bit of time to run these tests. Uh, that's the command to start Appium. So I can, uh, let's see, Appium is still installing. Do, do, do. While that's running, I'm going to install Appium service. and double check the time. Oh, what happened? Oh, interesting. strange but I think it had to do with working on that uh, Chai WebDriver IO which we did last time I need to get the video up for that which hopefully will be done by the time I get back to um, by the time I get this uploaded okay I'm gonna run that let's see how Appium's doing Appium is installed so I'm gonna run Appium doctor like that how is it run yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Oh, no, I installed it. Yeah, it's installed. Okay, wow, that's a lot of bad things. Uh, so I had Xcode pulled up, so let's jump back into Xcode. And in there, there's... Um, Xcode command line repos are not installed, so I need to go into, where do I go to install that? Components, locations. There's like some sort of extras that you can add. Simulators, documentation, no, 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 no. code open developer tool 
How about more developer tools? That sounds promising. Oh gosh, that's not what I wanted. What do they have that's good? Preferences, components. Choose the simulators you want to test and check install. What in the world is that nonsense? What? Components. Um, what are we testing in? Let's see. iOS 9.3. There. So I'll go just download that. And I swear this is where you would download this Xcode command line tools. Android Home is not set. That's fine because ADB, all that, that's all Android stuff. I don't want to worry about Android yet. This is the one that I'm kind of concerned about having an issue with. That's all fun. Manual fixes needed. So looks like maybe this Xcode command line tools isn't quite necessary. So I only have one more minute. So I'm just going to see if I can get Appium running. Um, how do they get Appium running? They just threw in this Appium Drafter. That's their configuration. They pass in the address. Try that. See what comes of that. And I'll have to sign off pretty quickly. Looks like that's running. Um, sure. That's fine. I want to see if I can run this. I don't need to start Selenium Standalone because I already have it running, or I'm going to have it running. I'm going to go to my page as normal. So let's see if I just throw caution to the wind and try running it. Oh. Appium wasn't installed. I thought I'd be able to just copy that over, but I think because I had linked and unlinked stuff, it didn't quite work like I wanted. So, but Appium is running. Um, I think I could go to here. 4723. I think I need to add that to my configuration. I believe that is an important step. Throw that in there. And then um, let's see how that's doing. Okay. Let's see what they have to say. Launch terminal. Oh boy, that's fun. Okay, let's run the random command. It's all my command line tools, which I'm still not sure that I need, but we'll see. Now that I've got my uh, all my NPM dependencies reinstalled, uh, let's try running the test. And if all goes well, I should see a um, emulator pop up. Um, looking down here, which has my all the different programs I have open. For some reason, text edit popped up. That's weird. So that's installing. Let's see what Appium's up to. It's not doing anything. I don't have anything pulled up. Nothing yet. I'm really hopeful that this would work, but. Xcode. Oh, you know, I don't even have the simulator downloaded yet. Jeez. So that's going to, it's 1.53 gigabytes. I'm going to have to wait for that to download. And I don't have enough time because it's 518 and I got to go. So um, 
we'll have to pick back up on this next time. But that's the basics of getting things started. Um, you have to get this in Appium service installed. I'm not quite sure why it wasn't covered in here. But probably should be. That or I missed it. Let's see. WDIO Appium. No. Um, I need to update that, but that's a minor thing. I think that'll run. Um, and so, yeah, next time, come back next week and check out actually running this. Yeah, that just died. And... Um, in an emulator and see how we can get that working. I just got to get this simulator downloaded, which is the fun part of all of this is you end up having to spend like 20 minutes waiting for something just to download and that's it. So anyway, um, I will see you all next week. Bye.